What's up, hey, what's good, what's poppin'? I am Miss Spirit. welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys for sliding through and coming to kick it with me. As you guys can see from the title, you already know what we're about to get up into. I am still on this journey to expand my mind, y'all, and I appreciate you guys for, you know, riding along with me. But anyway, I'm not really gonna do so much talking. Let's go ahead and get straight up into it. Mecca. Let's go ahead and press play. The progressives, I'll quote intellectuals and race, broadly speaking, while in the progressive era, socioeconomic differences were attributed to race, in the liberal era, such differences were often attributed out. to racism. Let's take each in turn, the progressives and the liberals. The progressives, of course, dominated the first several decades of the last century. Who were they? And broadly speaking, what did they believe about race? Right, they know. believe that differences in performances and outcomes between races were due to genetics, and therefore that they, they also believe in things like eugenics, uh, and they set the stage for what ultimately became the, the Holocaust. And why did they call themselves progressives? Or why did they come to be called progressives? Sorry, I'm loud. <laughs> well, I guess they, they seem to think that uh, they alone were, were interested in progress. But of course, everybody mm -hmm. uh, wants, believes in some changes, and they believe that those changes will be for the better. So uh, it, it's, it's, it's hard for me to understand how they could distinguish themselves from others by that, t that term. But they believe they could, and I guess that's what matters. All right. You quote H.L. <clears throat> Mencken, whom you call a prominent intellectual during the progressive era. Quote, it is apparent that the Negro, no matter how much he is educated, must remain as a race in a condition of subservience, that he must remain the inferior. Therefore, the effort to educate him has awakened in his mind ambitions and aspirations which, in the very nature of things, must go unrealized. Close quote. It's that phrase, in the very nature of things, yes. that gets to the view. Yes, th that was a pervasive view during that era. And it is straightforward, pure, racism in the strict sense of believing that the races are materially different from one another. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it's, 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 so, it's sort of hard to... Uh, one, of the, one of the problems with this way of thinking is that it, it eternalizes a set of circumstances that exist at the moment. Uh, and when you realize how even a whole century is just a, a blink of an eye uh, in the history of the human race, and when you realize, for example, that uh, IQ tests have only existed for about a century and are by no means infallible, uh, you, if you look back over the centuries and you see how the races that were on top at one time were now no longer on top. I mean, at one time, the Middle East was the leading civilization in the world. And before them, China, for even more centuries, was the leading civilization in the world. And even within Europe, uh, it was precisely the Southern Europeans who were so much more advanced than the people in Britain or Scandinavia back in the days of, uh, uh, of uh, Greece and Rome. Uh, Greece and Rome. Uh, uh, but what, what the people of that era did was take the different achievements of different groups uh, and sort of freeze them in stone as if there was no past and there would be no future. Mm. Uh, it's possible to dismiss Mencken Mm. Mencken is one, one of the figures you mentioned here as a, a provocateur or a reactionary. But you note that his views were shared by John Maynard Keynes, H.G. Mm. Wells, George Bernard Shaw, Woodrow Wilson, leading figures yes. looked upon even today as leading intellectuals of the first years of the 20th century. Mm -hmm. They weren't bad or malevolent mm, people. No. Talk for a moment or two. Because they based as best I can tell from, from the book, the IQ tests, they believed that they actually had objective evidence. They had proof mm. of the differences between races mm. arising from these intelligence tests that began to be given around the time of the First World War. Yes. Where do these tests come from? Well, different places. Uh, some from Stanford, uh, Terman, for example. Uh, but. Uh, one of the people, Brigham, who, who was the author of the College Board apt Scholastic Aptitude Test, uh, made the argument that uh, these tests disproved the idea that Jews were very intelligent uh, because they scored low on the armamental test in the First World War. Mm. 
And now seven years There's later, he finally comes Why out and that? says, you know, that admits that his conclusion was without foundation because um, <laughs> many of the immigrants who took that test were raised in homes where people didn't speak English. Uh, they didn't look into the data on on blacks, uh, where, who, who's uh, my gosh, the uh, amount of education that blacks had at that time was pathetic, and the quality was even worse. Uh, so one of the ironies that I found in going through these things in detail was that if you look at the army tests, that uh, blacks did uh, much worse on very easy questions uh, that required a knowledge of words than on much more difficult questions that did not. Uh, and so, for example, the questions were, uh, tell which of the following are uh, opposites. And they had things like uh, black and white, night and day, up and down. Mm -hmm. And blacks got wiped out on those tests. And the reason is that how many of them knew what the word opposite meant at that point? Right. But, well, the, but the other tests, for example, required you to look at pictures of uh, stacks of blocks, including some blocks you couldn't see, but which you had to infer from the shape of the stack and count them. And blacks didn't do nearly as badly on those tests. Got it. You also note that certain cultural groups scored especially low on abstract reasoning. It's not just African Americans. It's also Gaelic speakers in the Scottish Hebrides. It's Indians in South Africa. It's working class children in rural England. It's lower class youngsters in Venezuela. Mm. It's a particular culture that is perhaps too poor to have the time Mm -hmm. as it were, or the, the, the intellectual resources to devote to abstract reasoning. I would look at it somewhat differently. You would? I would say that uh, very often we try to explain, for example, why the Irish didn't do as well as the English. Uh, and the real question is, uh, well, the real fact is that the Irish uh, were much more typical of people around the world than were the English. And the real question is, why did the English do so much better? Why was not, there an industrial rev revolution on one island and not on the other? That, that, mm -hmm. that, that, that's right. Uh, and I, th I think the same, same thing here, that uh, if you go far enough back in history, I suspect you'll find that most of the human race had no interest in abstractions. And so the question becomes, certain kinds of cultures oh, do have a, have a desire to get into abstractions, and that becomes an enormous advantage to them. But uh, uh, I wouldn't try to explain why the others didn't do it, because the others were, un were unfortunately what the majority of the people uh, are like in the world, even today. All right. All right, so, so I tried to, why I didn't stop when I stopped it? So my wife got me. I got to get my premium back, but we're going to end that video there. Anyway, um, that was most definitely pretty interesting. Of course, you know, it's always interesting to hear Mr. Soul speak. But um, y'all see my lotion. Y'all see my lotion and everything in the back. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, um, it's just crazy to me, you know, like the expectations that people put on certain people or just, you know, the judgment, the, <clears throat> excuse me, like whatever you want to call it, like the assumption, the whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, you know right and you know when you're doing wrong. At least you know you're right from your left hand, so you know right from wrong. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you should know right from wrong. And stuff that makes sense and stuff that just don't make no sense. Like, it's just stuff that's fair and stuff that's unfair. Like, come on now. But, you know, we live in a world where people just act clueless. Like, they don't have no common sense. But anyway, y'all, I enjoy, you know, just listening to it, filling my mind. Because I wasn't really aware of what progressives were. Never heard of it or whatever. So, that's kind of what I wanted to get into this video about as well you know what i'm saying just to see what mr soul has to say you know pick his mind as usual um i'm most definitely gonna have to go check that book out from mr soul because that's the second time in this video that i've actually seen the book um honestly but yeah like i i just i really don't know i i still have so much digging to do um i just think that this should be you know a part of education everywhere and it's just not a lot of people is talking enough about it or you know i just think that mr thomas so i always say mr so but i think thomas so should be in these history books i think that his videos should be shown in class like 
that's just you know how great it is but anyway y'all i really hope that you guys enjoy uh i said enjoy uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video because you know this is just real and raw y'all know i don't um i don't edit anything i used to edit my videos but when i change softwares you know i don't be editing it or anything so it's really raw and i be talking too fast so i stumble over my words and if you aren't familiar with my channel then you'll know that it don't happen all like all the time well not happy all the time but it don't happen like the whole time if that makes sense but anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video just as much as i enjoy reacting to it comment down below y'all let me know your thoughts on this as well because you know i want to know let's talk about it also send me some recommendations on what you guys want to see on my channel y'all go show mr so some love and go subscribe to his youtube channel because i'm pretty sure you guys don't want to miss the knowledge that is dropping as well if you guys have not seen also don't forget to thumbs up like up this video and the original video also will be linked in my description box down below just in case you guys you know want to check it out on your own personal time you know you want to go rewatch it it's completely up to you it's down below don't worry also guys if you are new to my channel don't leave without hitting that red subscribe button and also ringing that bell so when i drop a new video you guys will know you won't miss it and you'll be right here and as always i really appreciate you guys for coming through and for coming to kick it with me and as always until next time